this week we're talking about cocoon coats. The cocoon shaped coat has been out in the cold of fashion for a long time. The trench coat had such an impact on the way we saw coats and the kind of coats we wanted to wear that for a long time only wasted belted coats, trenches, barbers, those kind of coats looked desirable, looked like status symbol coats. And then after that we got addicted to those kind of straight line crumbly coats. But this winter the cocoon shaped ovoid kind of egg silhouette coat, which is actually a fashion classic, much beloved in uh, the first half of the 20th century, is very much back in fashion. We've got lots of beautiful coats here to show you today. Firstly, this one is completely classic from Hobbs. Really beautiful and lovely and warm and gorgeous classic pale grey. This sort of shape of collar uh, is a real cocoon perfection idea. It, this line really echoes the ovoid here, this kind of swell and accentuates it. So that's a shape which has really good fashion heritage. This one here, this is Paul and Joe's sister, so it's slightly cheaper than Paul and Joe. Um, beautiful kind of neat shape here, which is just set off by this very cute neckline. Another thing I really like about this coat is that it has a beautiful lining and I think a really nice lining is nice on a coat, especially a kind of a, a party coat, a coat you're going to go to a party, walk in, take your coat off, then this kind of flash of this amazing tiger face lining, this little added extra I think. This one here has a funnel neck never, never do to underestimate how important keeping your neck warm in the winter is. I mean, you can't wear a scarf all the time and I do think coats like that are just incredibly useful and you'll be so cosy and it's got this kind of lovely mushroom sveltness to it. You probably have noticed that there are pink coats around. So if you want to do the flamingo thing, then here is your very, very fashionable cocoon shaped pink coat from Hobbs. This one here, in a really nice winey purple, wine without an H obviously, um, again really fluffy, they often are, I think that kind of fabric really works with this shape because it has such a sort of enveloping, sort of maternal feel to it. And here you have a kind of sleek and elegant take on the cocoon coat by Tara Jarman. And then lastly, two sort of minimal versions. If you don't want to look sort of overblown Balenciaga referencing, then this one from Jaeger, which is this beautiful, very, very fine wool, almost like a like just little sliver of wool to wear over your outfit. Sort of floppy and beautiful and unlined. It's absolutely gorgeous. Or here, toughened up with a leather trim for the best of both worlds.